Consider autonomous driving in an urban non-flat environment with a large variation in the present 3D features. This can include slopes, green patches, bollards, walls, underpasses or cars and bike racks. When performing motion planning, we optimize our plan with respect to some cost function, representing obstacles and untraversable areas. This function has the highly complex task of mapping all features in our environment to a cost the planner can act based on. We commonly employ manually designed cost functions. Obstacles are often marked given height threshold and successively extended by the dimensions of the car to enable safe planning. With the right expert domain knowledge, this leads us to being able to drive in most conditions. But it is increasingly difficult to adapt to all possible core cases. Consider slopes exceeding a threshold while still being traversable. Smaller stairs, on the other hand, can still fit within that threshold while being untraversable due to their discontinuity. Narrow passages might seem untraversable when we extend obstacles slightly more than necessary. But what if we could simply learn all these complex mappings just from how humans drive? For a real-world application, we need a high-capacity model to address the complex mapping, and a model that is at test time independent of the number of our training samples, since we might need a lot. In the end, we want to design a system that simply drives as a human would. To address these challenges, we frame our approach in the context of maximum entropy deep inverse reinforcement learning and apply fully convolutional networks to approximate the cost function. These networks are trained to optimize the probability of our demonstration samples, given the Markov decision process representation of the planning problem. Essentially trying to minimize the difference between our demonstration samples and how a planner would drive given the cost function. We apply the approach to a dataset consisting of over 120 kilometers of urban driving, which was collected in over a year by 13 different drivers, resulting in over 25,000 demonstration samples. As seen in the example cost maps, our model is able to learn where we can and cannot drive. Walls, cars, etc. as seen in the images are marked as intraversible by our cost map. Some smaller artifacts, however, are visible in the middle example. Additionally, we improve significantly in the evaluation metrics regarding the prediction of human trajectories as well as the classification of traversable terrain. A huge bonus of learning the cost function is that we achieve robustness towards systematic bias. While the manual cost function results in artificial obstacles when we introduce a miscalibration into our system, the terrain model is able to associate the new features during training with traversable and untraversable terrain. Let's have a look into our earlier corner cases. The model learns that slopes are traversable, while stairs are clearly not and never crossed in our demonstration samples. Furthermore, the model learns to appropriately size obstacles like bollards, rather than unnecessarily extending the untraversable regions. In current research, we look into utilizing the human domain knowledge that went into the cost map design and inject this into the training process. A first approach is to do this by pre-training the network in a regression task towards the manual cost function. By injecting human priors into the training process, we achieve fewer artifacts, present more distinct obstacle boundaries, and in some cases identify obstacles that were not captured with just random network initialization. 